Yeah, welcome to Idaho. Yeah, this is just the start of it. It's only been doing this now for a couple of minutes. Yeah, we're gonna get hammered. And you can't hardly see it, but the snowplow has finally made it out here to the farm. And uh, he's having a heck of a time getting through that intersection with that big drift that's uh, in front of him that you probably can't see. So, yeah, um, I had to call in late for work today. I can't uh, get anywhere today, and even the snowplow's having trouble. So, here in a bit, we will uh, go out and uh, fire up the LS tractor and see about digging out the driveway so maybe I can get to work today. Yeah. See if he can make another go at this corner here and get this drift moved. Yeah, it looks like he's going to get it shoved over to the side. Snowplow truck is working, trying to get her done this morning. He is heading west, moving snow like crazy, yep. Welcome back to the farm, everybody. I'm Dave with Nelson Creek Farms. We're going to do a little measuring some snow today and moving some, so hang tight. Here we go. Well, looky there. The wind blew so hard with so much snow, it even come underneath the doorway here. And... Oh, lovely. Oh. oh, poor little gizmo doesn't even know what to do. Well, yeah, he does know what he needs to do. <laughs> but there is a snow drift right there. I'm going to grab a tape measure and we're going to see how deep that is. Now yeah, let's see if we can see right there. Yeah. Right there on the back step, four inches. Yeah. Let's go see how deep that snowdrift is. Out yonder there is my little ranger pickup, and it's buried up to the belly of it in snowdrift. So, yeah, and I've got this yardstick stuck here in the snow, in that drift, 10 inches. This is kind of neat old uh, yardstick here. Mortar Mercantile Company at Twin Falls in the area surrounding it, machine shop service. Anyway, there's a reason for those holes and they're all numbered one through 16. The holes in this are all designed to hold valves out of up to a V8 engine. So the, the uh, mechanic uh, given an overhaul to the head or engine in period if it's a block a valve and block type, uh, yeah, that's, you put the valve stem through there and that keeps track of which valves came out of what hole. Yeah, kind of neat idea. Well, I think the first order of business today is to get the uh, walk behind snowblower out and running and clear the driveway or the sidewalk clear to the driveway and then down to the tractor so we can fire it up and uh, grade out the driveway so yours truly can get to his in-town job today. No, I'm not gonna pull start it, we're gonna cheat and uh, use a uh, starter. Yeah! How about that? Well, that's warming up. I'm going to move all this firewood out of the way that I picked up for use in the uh, furnace when the pellet stove shut down. I get this out of the way so we can uh, get the snowblower out of there.
before we get out here and disturb this snowdrift that's out here by the pickup, I wanted to see how deep it was, so we got the trusty, dusty yard stick. We're poking it right down on the top of the deal. Hey, 19 inches. That's how deep that snowdrift is. They could have an inch of snow in town at the in-town job. And because it's in town, all the buildings and structures don't let this stuff drift real bad. But out here in the country, where there's nothing to stop the wind, yeah, 19 inches tall, that's nothing for snow drifts. Yeah. That's 19 inches. make a trail down to the uh, tractor. another big monstrous drift right here around the back side of the shed you can hear the uh, engine of the snowblower laboring a little bit won't do it any harm to get it hot that engine sits much too much in fact this first time in uh, two or three years I think I've run this very much anyway. Stinky's pretty well snow drifted in and covered. And here's the target where we're heading to today. Yeah. might be able to kind of see the depth of the drift right up in here where I came through with the uh, snowblower. That's got to be a good 18 to 20 inches there as well. Let the glue plugs warm her up before we even attempt to try to start it. There they go. Hey, how about that? Now I'll let her sit here and warm up a bit before I, uh, whoo, the whole dash just lit up all over again. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we'll let her warm up a wee bit before we get going and uh, we'll go move some snow with it. Well, we're in four wheel drive. Let's see what we can do about that drift that's there behind us. There we go. Raise 
this up and dump it. That pile of snow right there is about three foot high <laughs> that I'm pushing. Oh man. Okay, let's uh, get this out of the way here. At least we'll get all the uh, mud off the tires that just caked onto it last time we used the tractor. <laughs>
Well, I'm standing here in front of a drift that's about yay high. You probably can't see it uh, because of the background and whatnot. If I had a yellow lens on there, you could probably pick it up. Anyway, that's going to do it today from Nelson Creek Farms. I'm Farmer Dave, wishing you all well, and you all have a good one now. You be careful, be safe, be kind and courteous, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.